This is Alex doing one of his favorite things. Hi. You want to wet it first? You want to scratch anything because if you move any of the dirt when the car's dry, then you're going to scratch it. The soap lubricates everything up so you can move it up. So then you wash and then soak it up and then rinse it on the car. When you're, when you're washing your car, you want to use the back side for the bottom, because a lot of like, like little rocks are down there, so you want to take this stuff up and scratch the paint. Washing around the sunset is a good time. So, you know, this stuff doesn't evaporate, and then it's kind of screwed. Get water spots, and water spots, you only get rid of those to rewash your car. And if you don't get rid of them, then it looks dirtier. See how flipping over? It's it dirtier, but you know it's, it's gonna ruin your pants. Looks like some of the soap evaporated. Yeah, it did. It's hard water on that car now. Gotta redo it now, okay? That's what you don't want. Inside the sun, take care of that last. I've done that. Take care of it last. Cause when it evaporates, you know then it'll be done by the time it evaporates. You know what I mean? Any preference on, like, the nozzle when you're washing your car? I like this one the best. Light. Smooth. Rinsing. Well, if it's the car next to you, that's the way to do it so you don't get it wet. Which is? I don't know how to do car here to demonstrate. Go over the car and you can start to get car. If you have a water compressor and you use it like to pressure your water, you'll use a lot less water washing time. Why are you wetting your towel? Because it's like dry. It's a solid thing. It tastes like goat skin. Better than cloth. Doesn't leave that like wet. So when you dry your car. You want to start with the engine if it's if you've been driving and the engine's warm, because you know water can evaporate. Or you start with the side of the sun, because water can evaporate there too. Um, also, you want to start with the sides of the car, if the hood's not warm. Because water collects on top and it just stays there. But water, it drips down and then it's easier to evaporate. So you get more water, it's more likely to get water spots on the side of the car first. So if I start with the side of the car. When you do the top of the hood, and like you push all the water down, you want to do that first. Because you don't want to do this, push the water down, and then do this part again. So you start with the hood, you start with the top of the car, and then you can do this. I am drawing off the tires. With a paper towel? Yep. Why do you use paper towel? Because I don't, I don't like towel there. What's the point of rinsing it out if you're just going to put soap on it again? It's all crusty later, I guess. There's still soap on it, too, but whatever. Don't get this stuff on the tread of the tire, because it's going to make it really, really slick. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Is it done? Oh. We're going to let it sit for three or five minutes, and, and then do another coat. See how dirty rims get? People don't wash their rims. And if you just rinse the rims, that dirt doesn't come off. You have to actually like, scrub into it. See how much dirt's on the rims? Use a toothbrush and get into these like, little hard reach places. You know, each room is five horsepower. Remember that. Quote me on that. Stupid? You stupid? Are you stupid? 
Can we get laid? Wash your rims. Are we done? 10 horsepower. Do it. Okay, ready? Hey Nemo, say hi to my little friend. <laughs>